Thank you to Boksu for sponsoring this video, but more on them later. Welcome back to Outdoor Chef Life. I'm Taku, and we are back in the Bay Area. We had the best time in Oregon. If you guys didn't see that video, make sure to check out our Oregon movie and our Oregon River Sushi movie or video. Uh, yeah, we're back in the Bay fishing with Nick again and Adam, and we're just going for halibut. I wanted to catch a 40 inch this year, so I'm gonna spend a little bit, bit of time on the water. Right now, I'm trying to catch some live bait. The key to big fish is good bait. So that's what we're trying to do. Oh, that's it right there. That should be money. Oh, got a perch. Got a freaking perch. It's too big for bait. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> You can go. All right, I see some bait right here. I think they're jack smell. Nothing on that one. Well, right before I started recording, I did end up getting about four or five of them. Kind of a big one too, but. Okay, I got one, one bait. That's about a perfect size here. There it is, guys. Nice, perfect size jack smelt on here for a tasty halibut. For a big halibut. Here we go, guys. Got my live bait down there. Now we're gonna drift around a little bit, troll a little. See if we can get a fish. Oh yeah, here we go. Nice. Oh yeah, the keeper. That was my fish. Take it. You seagulled me. <laughs> This is the fish that Nick had on. Maybe. Oh, it's kind of close, actually. Hey, get my bait. Grab my bait right there, right there, right in front of you. Right in front of you. You're coming up to it. Perfect. He's actually pretty close. Ah, he's short. I got a net him. He's short. He's like 21. Oh, that looks good. No, that's cute. I don't know, man. Oh, yeah, that's short. That's short. That's short. He's acrobatic, that's for sure. Uh. Oh, it's my key. It's my key. It's my key bro. Oh, yeah, yeah, he's gonna key. Oh, yeah, he's 42. He's 42 and a half. Okay, good. 42 and yeah. a half, yeah. That'll keep. Got an episode, boys. Keeper? Yep. Nice. Alright, guys. We got a keeper. 22 and a half. This is not the 40 incher that I'm looking for. We're gonna have to size up from that a little bit. But it's something. And Nick saved my bait for me, and he's still alive. <laughs> Get to reuse him. He deserves to live. No, dude, he is like, he, either way, he's gonna be halibut bait. Let him go! Even he if I let, it. even if I let him go, he's gonna get eaten. But he's still alive for now. At least give him a name. <laughs> I'm not giving him a name. <laughs> then you'll feel bad when he's gone. Yeah. Then I'll get attached to him. All right, he's back in. Back in the game. You know what? This right here is the perfect size bait for halibut, but uh, I want I want that big 40 incher. So let's why not go go big, go big with our bait. Go big or go home, you know. So I'm gonna swap this out. Yeah, that's perfect size. 
about five, six inches. And then I have this one. <laughs> it's more of a 12 inch uh, jack smelt. It's gonna have to be one big halibut to wanna take this bait. Let's, let's go for it, give it a shot. We already got one keeper. I don't really care to catch another smaller one. I'm going for the big fish. Oh, dude, big fish eat peanuts too, dude. Elephants eat peanuts. <laughs> Nick says elephants eat peanuts. Yeah. Well, might as well give it a shot. I have a big fresh bait. Fish on. Oh no. Oh no, did it come off? Oh no, it's still on. Oh my gosh. Fish on. Oh, swimming at me. What is this? What's going on? That's a keeper. Not, it's not a huge one, but it's bigger than the first one. go number two nice hey. oh wow look at that look at that big old mouth yeah that one's bigger than the other one oh yeah it's 100 all right guys taku with fish number two. Oh yeah look at that <laughs> boys uh-huh pretty got it done norcal kayak adventures guys make sure to book a trip they'll get you on the fish book a trip guys today <laughs> Hit me up on Instagram yeah. or NorCal Kayak Adventures at gmail.com. Thanks, guys. Got him. Yeah, that's a nice one, actually, dude. It is. Ugh. That's a nice one. That's like 28 inches. Yeah. Check that out, guys. That's a nice halibut. Show it off to Adam. All right, guys. Oh, yes. Cool. Definitely hey. a bigger one, but not a giant. I need to upgrade a little bit more than this. This is a little shy of 30 inches, I think. We'll measure him right now. I'm gonna just put him out of his misery, uh, make sure he's not suffering, and uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Let's measure this guy. 29. Dang it. <laughs> 29 Called it. inches. Called it. Well, guys, another day in the office, huh? Another day in the office. By the way, guys, I actually ended up switching up that big bait to my initial bait that I was using and caught the first one. So I got two fish on the same bait and now I have a jerk bait on. See if, give that a try. Uh, the fish are definitely getting bigger, 29 inches, but still short of that, uh, that 40 goal. 40 inches, that's gonna be a difficult one. But one of these trips, I hope to get one. Uh, starting to get windy, so we're gonna head back in and let's go cook something with this halibut. Now in the van, awesome day of halibut fishing, and we're gonna make some dinner with it. But let me tell you, I've been missing Japan lately, and it's been a few years since I've been back, and I think it's the longest I've gone without visiting. So today's sponsor is Boksu, to make me feel a little closer to home. Boksu is a monthly subscription service that delivers premium Japanese snacks and tea pairings straight from Japan to your door, with each box featuring a new theme every month. This one's theme is Sakura, also known as the cherry blossom. This box is filled with all kinds of cherry blossom themed snacks. It comes with a little booklet that shows you where all the snacks come from, a little bit about uh, each each area that the snack comes from, a little, little cultural booklet here. And inside is all kinds of delicious snacks. To be honest, there's a couple things missing in here because uh, we couldn't wait. But there are still plenty of stuff in here that I can show you. Here we got, oh, sembe. Oh, I like these, I love these. They're just like rice crackers, you know, that are like just crunchy and delicious. And we have all kinds of other snacks in here. Wow, what is some of this? I don't, wow, this is awesome. This all looks great, I really cannot wait 
to eat all of this. Cherry blossom season is a big deal in Japan. People go and hang out at the park where all the trees are blossoming and just chill under the under the trees, have a picnic or and watch the flower petals just fall down. And I do have a picture, I wonder if I can find it from way back when I was a young lad and I was just under a cherry blossom tree and I was like this. I'll try to find it. I'll ask my dad. I'm gonna get one. Mm. Mm. You see? Nice and crunchy. Delicious. Takes me right back. Yeah, this is pretty, huh? I don't know what it is though, but there's a that's a cherry blossom in there. That's an actual cherry blossom. It's like a jello. Yeah, basically just jello with a cherry blossom in there. It's really pretty. If you want to have your own Sakura celebration and support my channel at the same time, use the link in the description below to get 15% off your first order and use code Outdoor Chef Life. Thank you, Boksu, for sponsoring this video. Now let's get to our halibut. Okay, let's fillet this halibut. It's a nice big one here, 29 inches. It's going off my board. And first thing I'm gonna do, just take out the cheeks. This guy should have some nice meat in there. Okay. Now I'm gonna take the head off. And we'll keep that too. There's a lot of meat on that collar. I always like to start on this white side. It's a little thinner, so it's easier doing this first and then doing the thicker side after. And hopefully you guys are not uh, too bored of me filleting halibut yet. Okay, all sides are scored. Now, I'm going to get into the Angawa section. See these bones here? See now that one, these right here, you want to go over them, not under. So I want to make sure my knife is right over that. So these bones here, you want to go over these, not under. Because the underside, that's the other side of the, of the fish. All right, and then we're just gonna work along those bones, just uh, like always, all the way to the center bone. And now I'm at the center bone, scrape up a little bit. Just use the tip of your knife to scrape up. I call that like the speed bump, right? You gotta go over the speed bump, and then on the other side, you gotta angle your knife down so you can get all of the meat. And when you get here, that's the rib cage. And just, just hear that crunch. And now you just peel it away. Peel the fillet away. There we go. There it is. Look at that, nice and clean. No meat left. And we'll do the other side. Dangala, my favorite. bottom fillet usually got worms in it so avoid using it for sushi and sashimi and and uh, ceviche even use the top loin for that and with halibut we always skin it but uh, you could eat it if you wanted to it's edible okay that's 
pretty much it. Look at how thick this halibut fillet is. That's nice. This is going to be delicious. Today I'm going to make ceviche, but I'm going to present it in a different way. Sort of like how I'm going to present, how I would present uh, like a carpaccio. So I'm going to do it like that, but it's going to be a ceviche. All right. So let's see how this turns out. And I'm going to slice these pretty thin. Because so, we're not going to marinate them for long. Just a quick little marinade with the uh, with the limes. I'm cutting all these like how I would make sashimi. Let me grab my my moribashi. What I'm gonna use this too, microplane. Keep that over here. I guess I'm plating this actually exactly like how I played in my usuzukuri. That last halibut video I did. The key to making this look a little bit extra fancy or pretty is trying to make them stand. See how they kind of oop do a little little stance. It's not just fall in on the plate. They say don't play with your food, but we're playing. Making a little bit of art. Now on the plate, we're gonna marinate these. A ton of lime juice on them. You can see now it's really clear and translucent, but just in a short time, they'll mostly turn white. Okay, we'll let that soak while we prepare everything else Serrano slice cucumber And then we have just a little bit of cilantro. I think you see where I'm going with this. So we have serrano peppers, cucumber, and cilantro. And we have that lime juice on there. And it's getting cooked. It's the, that lime juice is doing its work. Cucumber, just a little, a light sprinkle. Oops. Serranos. And one last thing, we have sea salt. There's a little play on ceviche, making it look a little different than traditionally done. It's kind of cool, huh? Ceviche. Let's give this a try, shall we? I'm just gonna eat it like this. No tostadas. Looks great. Just lightly, lightly, uh, lightly seared or not seared, but lightly cooked from the from the limes. Yep, that's good. It just tastes fresh. It's just like the flavor is fresh. It's, it just makes you feel like it. So good, so light, so refreshed. Like it almost quenches my thirst <laughs> that it's so fresh. 
Mm. I actually love this. Yeah, we just need to start serving it like that. That's really good. Well, let me know what you think of this variation in the comments below. If you like the video, make sure to hit that thumbs up, subscribe. And thanks again to Buxu for sponsoring this video. We'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.